Which you guys got a sample sent over from malware blocker. He asked me to do a video uh, removal process of padlock screen locker. And you can see it here on the desktop. It's pretending to be Chrome. So we'll take a look at the details for this. As you can see here, uh, the details suggest that it looks like Chrome. There's nothing in here that uh, suggests that it's not. And you can see it's pretending to be Chrome here. It's not a legitimate program. It's just basically going to lock you out of your computer. It's more like a trick sort of malware, really, to be honest. Um, but we'll go to Virus Total and upload it here. Now, if you do get this type of uh, screen locker on your computer, you want to try to get in a safe mode or a live environment to remove it. So I'm just going to quickly upload this Chrome file. And you can see here it was last uploaded four hours ago, and this was probably by himself. And you can see here, these are the people that are detecting it right now. And this is the type of file it is. Now, again, uh, these type of things, are, it's, some of them are Kaspersky saying it's a ransomware, um, as you can see here. But uh, yeah, we're going to click on this and uh, take a look at it. So basically what's going to happen is it will just lock the screen. You won't be able to do anything. Fills the whole screen up. A little bit like those um, Indian scam sites where they try to con you into, uh, you know, ringing their uh, number so they can get some money out of you. But you can see here it's uh, basically blocked everything. So you can't do anything from the desktop here. Now you can push Control Delete, uh, which you can do and I'll do that right now and this gives you access to here now if you try task manager it's just going to shut it down it won't allow you to open this from this area here so what you want to do again is push Control alt delete and come back into this location and uh, once inside here you want to come down to the uh, on and off button here as you can see the power button and click restart by holding the shift key down and this will allow you to get into the choose an option. You want to click on troubleshoot here. So we're going to click troubleshoot. And once we've done that, we are going to click on advanced options. So we'll click on advanced options. And from here, you'll see advanced options, uh, startup repair, um, and all that sort of good stuff. We are interested in startup settings. Click on this one. And then again, you can see here, enable safe mode is an option if we use this method. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna enable safe mode by clicking on restart. Just then restart the computer. Give us the startup settings. Now we need to select either number four or number five. I'm gonna do number five with networking so I can download files. So click number five on the keyboard. This will boot us into safe mode. So just let this boot up, as you can see here. Now there's no uh, locker in this location here. I'd be pretty impressed if it was uh, locking us out of safe mode, like some of the old ones used to do back in the old days. But you can see here, here is the actual file. We're just gonna delete this file. And uh, what we're gonna do here is go on the uh, internet and download Malwarebytes. Now, the reason why I say that is because you wanna run scans with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and tools like that, just in case you've got other malware uh, or you've got a similar uh, type of uh, file to this one. At the moment, I know deleting this file would be the end of it for this uh, program, uh, but basically I just wanna show you just in case you've got some sort of different variant of it or something. So just download Malwarebytes, the free version here. And then once you've downloaded that, you can run the scan on this. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You get a 14 day trial on the malware bytes now because it's packed with uh, other good programs. So just quickly install this. As you can see, I'll speed this process up. And once that's done, you can turn on protection and run a quick scan. Now let that run through and see uh, if that detects any other type of malware. If you're having more malware, you can always use Hitman Pro. Next up, we're gonna go on the internet and download auto runs. So we can delete uh, the registry key file. So we'll just download this and quickly uh, run this and install it. Now these are portable type files, so I can just drag this onto my desktop here. So I'm gonna grab this and uh, drag it onto my desktop like so 
And once we're there, we can then just run this and we should see the actual entry that it's made. If we pull down here, you can see the entry for Google Chrome. Now this is obviously not found because I've deleted it. So what I'm gonna do is jump to that uh, registry location here. If you right click on this, you can see jump to entry and you've got delete, but we've already deleted it. So I'm just gonna to jump to entry and delete that registry key there. Just right click and delete. And once we've done that, we can close that off and then we can just remove the tick from that area there. And that's pretty much that dealt with and then just reboot the system. Now again, if you're having other malware on the system, you may wanna run other scans uh, as well. Uh, this is just a down and dirty method of just removing this particular type of uh, padlock screen locker. So I'm just going to restart here. And we'll just quickly get up to the desktop here and that should be now dealt with and removed as you can see here. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can remove the padlock screen locker. Uh, from Windows. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also if you've got any problems with computers you can always head over to the forums and join the community over there. Okay guys anyway have a great Christmas and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.